Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'll be showing how to rip models and images from Rift Apart. Now, in my modding video, I already touched upon extracting models and textures, but in this video, I'll be focusing on just that and go a little bit more into detail. All we'll need are these three programs. I'll link them all in the description of the video. And now in my modding video, I used the program Lockjaw to extract assets. In this video, I'll be using Overdrive. But Overdrive and Lockjaw are the exact same program. Overdrive is just a newer version of Lockjaw. So let's get started. So before we want to extract any assets from the game, we need to make sure that our game files are clean. And what that means is we have to make sure that none of the files are modified by mods that we may have installed. So we gotta make sure that we have no mods installed in Overstrike or the modding tool. So all the mods that I have installed right now, um, we're going to deinstall. Obviously, if you don't have any mod installed, you can just skip this step. The next step we need to take to ensure our game files are clean is we open Steam, right click on the game, go to manage and then browse local files. And now we have to delete the talk file and if you have it, the talk backup file as well. The backup file is created by Overstrike when you install a mod. So we have to delete both table of contents And now we go to the properties of the game to install files. And now we verify the integrity of game files. This is gonna take a quick moment. Okay, now that that's done, we can minimize Steam. We're gonna need it later. And we can start on the extracting part. We open Overdrive, we open the server execute, um, allow. Okay, now we hold down control on your keyboard and then right click on the first IP address that we see. And now we minimize this video. Do not close it. So here this link is going to be empty for you, but you need to insert the talk location of Rift Apart in here. So now we need Steam again. The quickest way to do this is we go on the game, right click, manage, browse local files, and now we just copy the address of your game files. Then we insert it here and then you press enter on your keyboard. All right, now we're in the asset browser and in the search bar up on top, we can just look for anything we want. So let's say for this video, I want Rivet's model. So I just type in Rivet and then dot model. Now we have a lot of models associated with Rivet. We have all the body parts and all the different armors. We want just the normal main model. Oh, here it is. Hero Rivet model. This is the normal basic model of her. And now we just wait a moment. Okay, this was blank for a moment, but now it's loaded in. And now we just save it. There it is. We have it downloaded. I'm going to put this 
here in the folder. But obviously, we have the model, but we can't do anything with it. So we need to install this add-on right here. And we need to have Blender. It has to be at least 3.6, but the add-on also is compatible with 4.0 and also 4.01 and 4.02. So I'm going to show how to install this add-on for Blender now. We open Blender, delete all the default items, and now we go to Edit, Preferences, and then Install. And we look for the zip folder of this add-on, click on it, and then we just click on Install Add-on. Now we can search for the add-on, and here it is. And if it's not checked already, then you check it. And now we can just close the preferences. We go to File, Import, and the add-on that you just added should show up at the very bottom of the Import options. And now we can import the Rift Apart model. It's going to take a moment. There it is. All right, so there she is, but she looks a little strange. That's because all of her different LODs are loaded in as well. LOD stands for level of detail, meaning when you go further away from a model, it becomes less detailed because you're not going to see all the details anyway when you're far away. And the closer you get to a model, the more detailed it becomes. And obviously we only want the highest quality of her. So we're going to lead all the LODs that do not have a zero at the end. So the lower the number, the higher the detail. So we're going to delete all the numbers from 1 to the last number, which is 9. And now we only have the highest quality rivet. By the way, fun fact, Minecraft does not have different LODs. It loads everything at its highest quality, no matter how far away you are. And that's why Minecraft runs so poorly, in case you didn't already know that. Okay, so we have the rivet model, but she's completely white. There's no colors on her yet, no textures. So in the next step, I'm going to show how to extract textures and then apply them to the model. So now we go back into overdrive and we want her textures. So we search for rivet texture. Yeah. There we go. So we're seeing all the textures now. There's also C, G, M and N textures and what they mean. I'll explain that later in the tutorial. But for now, we just want the C texture, which is the main color, the base color. Um, let's see, um, I want the C texture of her glove. So every texture has a low quality version and then the HD version. And for this, to, to save this, we need to click on the smaller version, click on view. That's the texture for her glove. And now, just like any other image on the internet, we right click on it and then we save it for, for keeping things more tidy. I'm going to copy the name of the texture and when I save it, I, I paste the name. All right, and then we save it. 
there it is. And now I'm going to show how to apply it. So let's get back to the model. Since I downloaded the texture for her glove, we select the glove. And now I go into the material of the glove and I click on use notes. And now I'm going to click on the little yellow dot next to base color so that we set the texture as her color. So we select image texture. Now we open and pick our image. And now the image is applied, but it's not lined up properly yet. That's why it still doesn't look right. So now we open up the bottom window or create one if you don't have one. And we go into the UV editor. And now we need to fix the UV mapping of this glove. So we switch to edit mode. And now we press A on our keyboard to select everything. And if this is blank for you, then you just click on this folder and select the image again. Now we hover our mouse in the UV editor and press A again to select everything. And now on our keyboard we press S to scale. And now we just scale the whole thing up. Um, by around 32. And now I press G to grab and now I just line it up with the image as best as I can. That looks all right. And now I've applied the texture to the glove. This pretty much concludes the tutorial. If you want to, you can now apply every texture to every body part just like this. But I want to explain how C, G, M and N textures work. I'm going to show you a pre-made model for this and explain what all this means. So I'm gonna use a model of Emperor Nefarious for this. There he is. I'm gonna pull up my shader setup. And like I already said, the C texture is the base color. So if I remove the C texture, the color disappears. Now his torso is all black. G stands for glossiness. So if I remove the G texture, all the glossy shine is going to disappear. There's no reflective, no reflections. They're all gone now. Now M, the M texture has both emissive values and metallic values. So The M texture is responsible for adding metallic shine to something and also adding lights. So if I remove it, it's the lights are going to turn off and the metallicness also disappeared. The N texture is the normal map and a normal map adds a 3D look to a texture without the mesh being 3D. So let's look at the yeah, let's look at this red stripe on his chest plate. So it has a bit of a 3D look to it. It looks slightly elevated. So if I remove the normal map, it becomes flat or flatter or you can see that he has 
slight bumps on his plate. There's a few scratches, few bumps, and you can see them because they reflect light in a 3D way. And if I remove the normal map, the 3D-ness disappears. You, you can see it still reflects light, it's still glossy, but the 3D effect of the bumps and the scratches is gone. So that's what the normal map does. And yeah. And that concludes the tutorial. Thanks for watching.